Hey, all right, so I am going to explain how to fill in color with an object that you've drawn, drawn and then how to um, cut off that color and divide it if you want the color to stop. And, um, so that was a terrible explanation of that, but anyway, I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, so basically, I have already gone ahead and I have um, added some layers to this um, example here. Um, there's the background color, this like nice like peachy off-white color, and I have locked that because right now I can select it and that gets like super annoying. So I just made its own layer, locked it, and I did the same thing for the letters. So that way as I'm clicking and I'm selecting the objects, um, I can, I'm not constantly trying to unselect the letters. Um, a tool or a hotkey that I use insanely often, which I highly recommend, is Command 2 and Command 3. Command 2 is to lock something, and then Option Command 2 is to unlock it. Um, and then to hide something, you can do Command 3. Um, and Option Command 3 to bring it back. Um, it's really helpful when you're selecting little pieces um, and I feel like once you do it, you do it a ton. Uh, and that's something that I learned when I was working at Champion. Okay, so we have these peppers here that we're going to color in. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I'm going to select everything. And because I have these other layers locked, I don't have to worry about them. And I'm going to go to my Pathfinder palette. And I'll pull it out so it's easier to see. And I'm just going to hit Divide. And then I'm going to hit Ungroup because naturally it just groups it. And then I'm going to select... Um, the rectangle and just delete. So now it's all filled in. However, um, we're going to want the stem to be green. So how should we make this green? Well, there's two options. Um, one option, um, since this is very much so like a hand-drawn element, that's the aesthetic that it's going for, um, you can hit Shift B and that's going to pull up the blob brush tool. Um, I'm going to sample the black and then Shift B and pull up the blob brush tool. And then I'm just going to draw a line. And when you use the blob brush tool, um, it will naturally like connect um, the other color around it. Um, so like you can like it's like flashing lines here. Um, that, so therefore it already connected this. So if I make it disappear and come away, it's already connected. And therefore I can select the red and do the um, Pathfinder Divide tool again. I ungroup. And then I can select this and now it's its individual um, object. And so now I can give that a different color. Um, but, oh, okay. So now that it's ungrouped, it's also, um, it's not connected to it. It's just another shape. So I can select the black or um, next to it and then just hit unify and now it's connected. Um, so that's the way I would do that. That comes quicker to mind but there are two more options. Um, so I'm just going to undo. Okay so we have our pepper. It's colored. It's ungrouped. Um, so I did the blob brush tool with shift B but if I was just to hit B it would draw a line. Oh Hmm, it doesn't want me to do that because I'm getting this little cursor. Um, huh, and it's not telling me why either. Okay, well, otherwise it would just draw like a stroke. Oh, you can also use the pencil tool. You can draw a stroke. And then what's really great about using the pencil tool versus the blob brush tool is that now that there's a stroke, you can control that stroke. You can make it smaller, you can make it teeny. You can also um, go to the, your stroke palette and you can change <clears throat> the type of stroke that it is. Um, and that can be really helpful um, in lots of different um, drawings. And you can also play with the way it ends. So that's a really good way to... Um, so I highly recommend using the pencil tool over the blob, blob brush tool. And then what you can do um, is so you have your pencil. You're going to line it up to like how you want it. Um, I don't want it to be like perfectly um rounded only because like the rest of this doesn't isn't like perfect so I don't want to like make it obvious that this is this was done with a tool like a not a hand-drawn pencil tool <laughs> okay okay so all right so now I have that but like if I was to grab this and grab the object and hit divide it's like wait what the what the heck like it just went away and basically it just took that line and it just divided it and that's not what we wanted because we wanted this black in there so I select this, I go to Object and go to Expand, 
And this box is like, do you want to do the fill or do you want to do the stroke? And I'm like, yeah. And then it basically turns into what we saw before um, as the blob brush tool, which we would select the black and then we would combine it. And then we would also grab the red behind and we would divide it. Um, and then this would be a separate object, but then this would also be a separate object, which we already combined it. So <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm talking like super fast. Uh, so that's um, one, another way to do it. Um, let's see. So this is divided. Oops. That's divided like that. Um, the other option is to use the pen tool. So hit P on your keyboard and that's going to pull up the pen tool and I'm just going to click and drag. And so I'm going to pull out these, um, little, like you can see the little ball at the ends. Those are called my, um, oh my gosh, my ink. No, not, they're not my anchors. Oh my gosh. I totally know this. I'm just blanking at the second. Um, Bezier curves. <laughs> and so I can control the way that this flows by pulling these out. When you're first starting to learn Illustrator, these this is going to be like so frustrating. Like I pull it this way and it does that. and But like as you use it more, like I promise it gets easier and then eventually you'll love the pen tool. And then you'll just like, there might be some projects where you don't even want to hand draw them. You just want to like use the pen tool to do it. Um, it gets addicting. So basically the same thing like we did with the pencil tool. We we drew it out. It looks great, um, but it's going to do the same thing again where if I want to divide this off and I hit divide, it's going to just divide those two shapes in half. Um, and so I'm going to do undo. <laughs> um, I almost did ungroup. Okay, so then basically, again, I'm going to go back to object, expand, do that. Um, and then I'm going to select the color, and then I'm going to group. Grab the red, divide, boop, and then I can grab all this, boop, boop, and I'm going to turn that to green. And then, so it's also really cool because we use the Pathfinder tool in the beginning. We don't have to go through and color in all these individual shapes. We can just select it, go up here, and then, um, and then you can adjust with your colors. And so you can get something that you like. Um, so I hopefully, so hopefully, so I hope that was helpful. Um, if you still have more questions, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Like I've been working in Adobe Illustrator for a while. So, um, sometimes I'm happy to answer questions. I just don't know what people are struggling with. So yeah, definitely feel free to ask and, um, have fun creating awesome stuff. All right. Bye.